I'm filming. <laughs> Hello there guys, this is Christy Lewis from Dostoevsky in Space, and today I'm here with my very bloody October wrap-up and a November TBR. This is gonna be a pretty unscripted video, I usually like to script my videos, but I just did not have time today, so here we go. I read so much this month. I don't know how I did it, but it was a good reading month for me. I kicked the month off with a weekend reads, science fiction and fantasy themed, and I'll put that up here for you. I read the first book in the One Piece manga series, and I would definitely like to continue that series. I have the next three books. I started the next one. I just have not had a chance to sit down and finish it yet. I also read the Slaughterhouse-Five graphic novel and I'm so intrigued now to read the novel. I definitely need to read it. Also read The Foghorn by Ray Bradbury, which I absolutely loved. And I read this because of the Codex Cantina, of course. And I read the original audiobook by Brandon Sanderson and Mary Robinette Kowal, which I also did a rain review of earlier this month. Yeah, didn't really enjoy that one. So you can check those out in more detail if you would like. On the Weekend Reads vlog video, I challenge you to guess which one is my favorite. So if you like games, you might enjoy that. I also read two short stories that a friend of mine, Imogen from Book Critique, reviewed on her channel. I will link her videos down below. The stories are The Young Goodman Brown by Nathaniel Hawthorne and I think Little Snow White is what it's called or Young Snow White. I don't know. Something about Snow White. It was the fairy tale. The next book that I probably finished was Piranesi by Susanna Clarke and I'm sure a lot of you were looking forward to reading this. If you have read uh, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, it's right on this pile of books that's holding up my iPad, which is a wonderful book. I listened to that one on audio years ago and I really really enjoyed it so I knew I had to pick up Piranesi which is much shorter. I also recorded a book review of it and hopefully that will be coming out next month because that was a really good book. Next, I finished Crime and Punishment for Dust CP 2020, which is a read-along hosted by Danny at Spinelli Speaks. And Danny has generously allowed several friends onto her live stream discussions of Crime and Punishment, and she's let me be on it like five times. If you have not read Crime and Punishment before, it follows an ax murderer and his psychology and reasons for the murder. It's extremely compelling and very philosophical. Probably the most Christy flavored thing you will ever read. It was my gateway classic and I highly recommend it. The next book I finished was My Cousin Rachel, which I was reading for the, what's it called? I'll put it right here. Several of my friends are hosting it, but it's pretty much like a fall readathon, which is a great idea. And I think Tia with all the books, I think her name is, hosted a Instagram chat group and kind of reminded us where we were supposed to read to every day of the week. It was all supposed to be read in one week, but of course I didn't read it in one week. It took me about a week and a half, but it was a great book. I enjoyed this one actually more than Rebecca and I do have a video, hopefully Hopefully soon coming out that is a battle between Rebecca and Rachel. So if you're interested which of those two ladies would have won in the War of Wits, you can check out that battle video whenever it's done. It will be in my playlist of reviews and discussion videos. And finally, I just finished Mary Barton for Victober. Victober is a wonderful read-along hosted by Kate Howe and Lucy the Reader and Katie from Books and Things. And this was almost like the unofficial read of Victober because a lot of people were reading it this month and I know a lot of them were really enjoying it and I really did too. I just filmed a review of that and that probably will be up before this video so I will link it up here or link it down below. I read this with Rainy Day Reads and one of her subscribers and it was so much fun to discuss it with them. Although they were better at keeping to the schedule than I was just like with my cousin Rachel. I'm not really good at scheduled reading unless we're gonna have like a live show at the end of it. So I have a few things that I've started this month and I plan to finish it either by the end of the month or to finish it next month. And one of those is the 101 Dalmatians, which I'm adoring this. This is by Dodie Smith, the author of, what is she the author of? Put it right here, that one. I'm loving this so much. I'm listening to it on audiobook. Sometimes at night, I'm kind of alternating with another book that I have here in my stack. And this is probably one of my favorite reads of the month. It's so cute. Corella DeVille is just delightfully awful and there's more to the story that was not in the movie. So now I need to watch the movie. Maybe when I'm done with some of my watch alongs, I can get Disney Plus again and rewatch this movie because this is adorable. I'm reading this for Boo to Your Readathon, which is hosted by Emma the Bookish Princess, also Disney vlogger and also European vlogger. And what else does she do? She does like 
that game that everybody loves and she also does like reaction videos to pop culture stuff she just does like a ton of stuff and i love it she's the one who mentioned this as a disney adaption and i had no idea that this book existed i'm so excited and i'm just loving it i wish i'd finished it so i could talk about it more but i haven't yet so okay what's next right treasure island this one i'm very close to finishing and i'm also really enjoying it this one inspired the pirates of the caribbean ride at disneyland so i'm reading it for boo to you and so far there's been two moments in this book that were just so exciting that yeah i love it it's just so engrossing and fun i'm listening to this one and like i said alternating with 101 dalmatians for my kind of bedtime relaxation reads that one's also a nostalgia pick for me because i did read it when i was young and i really wanted to reread it so it counts for my book that was on a previous victober tbr because i wanted to read it last year but i didn't get to it because i tried kidnapped instead which just not as good another thing that i'm trying to if not finish this month, at least get to the Stormlong 2020 bracket would be Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson. If you guys haven't heard, I'm doing a read-along called Stormlong 2020, which is a read-along of all the Stormlight archives. It's kind of preparing everybody for Rhythm of War, which is coming out in November. Oh my gosh. I'm probably going to read that too because Alex Nieves really generously did a giveaway saying he would pre-order Rhythm of War for the winner and oh my gosh I won so I'm gonna try and finish Oathbringer before mid-November definitely so that I can pick up Rhythm of War as soon as it gets here. I really enjoyed the first 25% of Oathbringer more than I thought that I would and the second portion of it I'm not really a fan of how Kaladin is being handled I don't like him as a secondary character. This is still a good book but it's just it's not as good compared to the first too. I'm sorry if Oathbringer is your favorite. I know there's a few weirdos out there who like Oathbringer. I'm just kidding. I also plan to read some Russian short stories. I can't believe I haven't gotten to them yet. I've been meaning to read them before now, but it's for a super secret project that I'll be announcing in November. Hi, hello. This is Editor Christy again because of course the super secret announcement that I mentioned earlier in this video is no longer a super secret. I'm going to be partnering with the awesome dudes over at the Codex Cantina, Una and Crypto, who have become friends of mine over this last year of booktube. And if you couldn't tell by the gazillion mentions I make of them in all of my videos, I'm a big fan. So of course I was thrilled when they invited me to do this cool idea called a Russian Christmas with them, which will be part of their A Foreign Christmas project. There's a couple other countries that they are considering doing in the future. And maybe I'll get lucky enough to join them. Who knows? Anyways, we're going to be reading two Count 'em Two stories by Dostoevsky, a story by Leo Tolstoy, a story by Gogol, which I love Gogol already, and I've only read like one of his stories. We're reading a few other stories, and I will link them down below, of course. I hope you will consider joining us. I will be making a bigger, better announcement video for this, where I'm probably wearing makeup and it's daylight outside. That will probably be coming out next week, but just for now, I couldn't hold back the news any longer longer. But if you are excited about Christmas and you like Russian literature, this is not something you will want to miss. We'd be really excited if you wanted to read along with us. So more news on that forthcoming. Thank you. I cannot wait for that. Also, Fortnite Frights, which is being hosted by Seiji the Artisan Geek. I did read one of the short stories from Things We Lost in the Fire, and I did really enjoy that short story. However, I wasn't able to finish the whole book, and I wasn't home for the live stream that she did on it. Let's move on to my November TBR. Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl. I'm reading this with a friend of mine named Hope, and she's just a really, really good friend of mine. We've been talking about reading a book together for a while because we kind of have similar tastes. She just started this and was like hey you want to read it with me now and I was like okay like I, I don't really actually have time for it but I'm gonna make time for it even if I have to lose sleep over it because I really desperately would love to read this along with hope that sounds like a good time I have a feeling I'm gonna love it we're not sure if it's gonna be Saturday or Sunday yet but one of those two days we will be having a writing sprint right here with Victoria who will be reading and Casey from Lost in a Bookcase writing and me probably writing as well I'm, I'm really aiming to use these sprints to kind of power my way through November and get a lot of writing done.
So I hope you will join us for those things. And that is it. Whew, that was quite a rundown. Thank you so much for watching this, guys. I do really appreciate it. Let me know down below any of your thoughts. If you're joining the sprints, if you're joining any of the read-alongs, if you joined and enjoyed any of last month's read-alongs. If you need a link to the Facebook club, that is in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up in the corner and subscribe if you want to see more from me. And also hit that little notifications bell and enable notifications in your YouTube app on your phone or whatever device you're using if you want to get notified anytime that I make a new video. Thank you so much guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye!